Good morning, welcome back. So, been punished today. Back off from my little jolts to Scotland. And then I've come back, I've had man flu, so I've had a couple more days off. So I sound a bit bunged. Um, but man flu's worse, obviously, than cold. So now I've come back and they are making me cut the Indian stone, put the mix on. We haven't got a mixer, so I'm mixing in a barra. Um, we've got the grass down just before it's rained. Oh, they've got the grass down just before it's rained, should I say. So they're fitting it. I'm not allowed to go and take an easy job and crawl about on my hands and knees and that. So, yeah, being lad today. Hopefully we'll get finished. It's going to rain at 11. So important bit, grass is down. The rest of it can be done in rain. I'll show you what we're doing. So we've got two pedestrian gates either side of the house. We are replacing these. Internal doors. Jainers will love that. Solid oak. Obviously it doesn't go outside if it's not treated. It falls apart. Yeah, the nice doors then. Obviously got it out of a barn or something. Farmhouse. So we're not replacing this path. Just starting the Indian stone here. Oh, we've started the Indian stone here. Sean's just fitting the grass. These are all my cuts, little cuts. We wrecked them when we were digging out. Cut over this end. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, little step there, we've got two flags. And then over here, we've had to put a planter in because we need to support this fence at this side. And then we have got the fascia going across and it's returning, there's like a 300 mil gap. It's returning at that end as well, to finish it off. But yeah, I use these off cuts of AstroTurf for my boot of the car. This is for dogs. I don't wreck my boot. But yeah, this is the other one. This one must not get sun or wind or rain at all because this one is more or less intact. But yeah, look where they are. Right on pipes. Where right bloody pipes are. They are on the other side as well. And yeah, that's it. Hopefully this rain holds off a little bit more. When it's last day, squeezing down here. When it's last day, you always find you've got a bit here, a bit there, a bit here. And it takes two minutes and you, you should. Do it as you go. Don't say, oh, we'll do it at the end of that. Do it as you go. Because it does, it literally takes two minutes. And you're just punishing yourself on the last day. You're putting too much on yourself and at half three, you still got to jet wash down and stuff like that. So that's my rule for this year. Finish one thing, finish another thing. Not bitting and batting at end of job. Oh, can't wait for my next holiday. I'm going to sunshine this time. Try and not get cold for the change. So, see how we've got there, guys. it down <laughs> horrible week this week horrible so this is what we've done the grass is down uh, we've brushed it up a bit we're going to double brush it tomorrow um, put all of us cuts in here steps 
and two or three flags over this way, wherever they are. So tomorrow morning we are brushing in the resin. We use joint it um, for his resin, which I highly recommend. You get more, seems like you get more value for your money. 44 quid a tub, or 42 quid I think. And it seems to just go further, really good. And then we're doing his fascia, which we've got already, and then just a sleeper planter down here, just to retain that fence. Should be done for lunch. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's looking well. Better than it did when I first started this job anyway, before I went on all the bushes everywhere, weren't they? But they don't want nature. So it's whatever the customer wants, I suppose. I'll catch you in the morning. Once again, it's raining. <laughs> another day, another downpour. So, I've got everything done this morning. Put a face shirt on here. Got it all the way down. There were like a 20, 30 mil gap. I thought I would get it done. Get a 30 mil on the bottom of there to keep it proper tight. Artificial grass, 40 mil. Um, supplied by Rodley Timber. Mark Adams, lovely guy. We'll always sort you out, no matter what it is. Indian Stone, I think this one is from MKM. Um, and obviously cups of tea are from the customer, which are always a bonus. But yeah, this looks loads better. And have a look back at videos, because obviously I were away. I were away, so I've forgotten what it looks like, to be honest with you. Look how wet I am. I've forgotten what it looks like, to be honest with you, so... Have a look back at videos and see how that goes. Because you're shocked. You think, oh God, what are you again? And then you see videos and um, or pictures of what it started out like and gives you a boost nine times out of ten. Another gate on this side. Customer wanted this across the top. Don't know why. Who knows? Each to their own, each to their own. Spec and stuff. So we're closing down front garden now, going quoting in lovely Harrogate. It's about an hour's drive from here. Um, she's driven up from Ipswich, so I don't know if she's a property developer. One minute. I don't know if she's a property developer or she's investing up here and moving up. Who knows, I'd rather be in Leeds and Ipswich or Harrogate than Ipswich anyway. So yeah, have a nice wet night and I'll see you tomorrow morning. We're in another job, so ciao ciao. Good morning. Actually not raining. So here we are in Bramley. And we have got a quick garden here. We've got a patio down there. Four metres by three metres. So that's 12 square metres down there. Indian stone. We're going to have a pergola. We're putting the posts in. The guy's a joiner. So we're going to put the posts in. He's going to build his own. Make it all nice and fancy. Got a sleeper wall coming across here and returning but lowering because the garden's on a slope. So have a look. It'll come like at this side, two sleepers high, and then two sleepers and then down to one. So the step in there in this corner. Um and then everywhere is turf. They've got a baby that's eight months and they have got like a six-year-old kid who's obsessed with football. So they're just turfing it for now and they might alter it when they grow up a bit. So there we are replacing that with uh, Indian stone again. And that is 1.8 out by 3.6 wide. And then where this isn't petrol can is on about putting some um, stepping stones in. Indian stone stepping stones, but they don't know yet. They don't know. They're going to see what it's like. Um, yeah, it should be quite a quick one, really. What is it? Roughly 15, 20 metres of Indian stone and the rest of it is just turf. So, yeah, it's quite a good one. And it's wet enough for turf, isn't it? Bloody weather's annoying. But it's 18 degrees today. Or it is later on. It's going to be 18 degrees. So, let's enjoy it. Make most of it.
Good morning. Friday morning, last day of the week, which we all love. Nice and dry today, 15 degrees, cloudy, always good. So we do grass cutting, like you say. Um, back end of last year, I dropped a few. We had quite a few, like, but I ended up dropping a couple, ones that I didn't like. Uh, but I've kept this one and she hasn't been in touch for a while. Um, it's an Airbnb. God, it's long. <laughs> First cut now. Um, should have come about a month ago, I think, if I'm honest. But it's a long one. Um, but it's a good one. It's a good one to keep. Front garden of a mill. It's really nice. Really nice. Um, and she always has tenants in on this Airbnb. Um, just in outskirts of Leeds. Um, and it's, it just baffles me why people stay so far away from Leeds Centre, you know. I don't get it, I don't get it. Try to get into property and try to learn off of a few lads who do Airbnbs and stuff and it just baffles me how they get them. But yeah, I'll show you what it's about. So this is it, little grass area here. I think this is £35. It's like, well, no, £36, £30 plus the AC. Um, a little area there, a couple of weeds to pick out. That's it, but this is her section really easy like i say when you keep on top of it it's long this time in two weeks time 15 minutes done 30, 30 quid it's worth it so yeah i'm gonna cut it today overseed it and then next time i come i am going to feed it so yeah enjoy It's definitely shorter. Um, it's not that great. Just overseeded it. We're going to feed it. Um, sort these edges out now. And um, get it cut shorter on the next visit. Like I say, I love grass cutting. Therapeutic. Therapeutic. Look at this place. It's well nice. Old mill. I don't think I'm supposed to be back in here, like, caution, deep water. But that stinks in summer. Just still water from all the drains and stuff. Yeah, it's nice. This one, we've got a little car yard. This, you'll remember front on last videos, but this one, she was on holiday, couldn't get in. And you know what? It's not that long. I thought it was going to be proper long. I thought it was going to be a nightmare. But we've got to go through house on this one. So that's the nightmare of this one. <laughs> All fun. All fun. So that's it for this week, guys. As I'm doing this, as Das Hound has just started eating. So sorry if you can hear me. Um, but yeah. Nice day, grass cutting, sending some quotes in. Um, totally forgot to end the video, to be honest, in the van, which I normally do. Um, so yeah, it's been quite a productive week. While I've been grass cutting, lads were doing the Indian store in the garden in Bramley. Um, and by the sounds of it, they've done one patio already, the main area where the pergola's going. Um, so Monday they're doing the top area which I've just been up now to see it works out at seven square meters so it's literally a tiny tiny um, 
patio just to sit on with a chair and a coffee, I think, in shade when it's when it is too too hot. So yeah. So I'll be back there on Monday. Um I'm only working three days next week. I'm off back up to Scotland. Go and move my best mate down. He's moving back down to Leeds. So I'm doing that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which I love driving. So it's a bit of a road trip for me. These are the two vans. So we're just going backwards and forwards. So a fair few miles put in there. But yeah, all good. But yeah, cheers guys. See you next week. See you on Monday.